Alright, yeah. I thought this would be a laugh. Anti-white TikToks are insane. I see someone do a thing, like searching things for TikTok, like searching white people are bad, and it'll come up with loads of TikToks, and if you do it, black people are bad, you get a thing saying, this is... Like, they just kind of block anything, yeah. Um, but TikTok's pretty mad anyway. I don't know why people go on TikTok full stop, to be honest. To be fair, any social media, it's all toxic. It's all cowards, basically. But yeah, anti-white TikToks are insane. Let's go. First of all, if you are a male monster. Holy sh damn all right so apparently a bunch of people on tiktok have been making anti-white videos on there or anti to be fair i'm i'm a ketchup monster more to be fair tiktok saying how they hate white Love people and how they need to be exterminated from the planet which is such a crazy thing to post but i guess it's becoming normalized now but that's why i'm stepping in so i can make sure that this doesn't become a normalized thing and that people actually see this for what it is because apparently a lot of people support these videos they get thousands of likes they get hundreds of thousands of likes even sometimes it gets ridiculous if you don't have the basic understanding of judging people by their character and not their race then, bro, you're part of a huge problem. Don't we remember when Michael Jackson said it doesn't matter if you're black or white? I guess some people just want to be racist, and there's way too many people judging by race alone, and we're going to be taking a look at those people today. You have a token white, and you're hanging out with your friend group of color. You need to ask permission from everybody in the group to bring your white friend. What? She's acting like all white people are serial sex offenders or some shit. <laughs> like, don't just bring them. Them. I might not be in the mood to deal with white shenanigans that day. Yo, imagine if I said this. Yeah, you know, I was going to church today, and I saw an Asian person, and I walked right out because I'm, I just don't want to deal with the Asian shenanigans today. You know how fucking stupid you sound? This girl already has a fixed eye. But to be fair, though, I've never met anybody like this. It seems to be students or people that have gone through college and don't really have a clue of anything do you know what i mean because if you just go into the working world you meet people of all races anyway and do you know what i mean if someone start even started talking like that to me i'd just be like shut up you fucking idiot do you know what i mean end of conversation so go away i don't want to hear it but it's never happened. I've never ever been stood next to a black person, a Chinese person, Indian person at a bus stop and uh, they've lectured me about anything. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just, it's never happened to me. Never. But yeah. ...of how all white people act, which in itself is fucking racist. I don't think she realizes that, but that's that goes for all races. If you have a predetermined idea of an Asian person... Yeah, but these people have the mentality that you can't be racist of white people. Or a black person or a Mexican. That's kind of racist. I don't I mean, obviously we have stereotypes, right? But you shouldn't place that stereotype onto somebody and, and just run with it and assume they act like the stereotype you got to look at people for who they are now don't get me wrong i got an asian friend who studies hard and he, he kind of fits the stereotype right but when i first met him i wasn't like oh this guy definitely gets an a plus in math this guy definitely plays the violin i didn't assume that because i don't place the stereotypes onto people before i meet them it's not a good thing to do and also a lot of the time it's not accurate either I'll tell you a stereo that stereotype of Chinese that I witnessed. We had a Chinese girl. I don't know why on earth they put her in our school. Because she obviously come from money. But in my primary, she couldn't speak English. And she was on a higher level than all of us. She couldn't even speak English, but yet she's smashing it. Right. Yeah. That's, that's all I'm saying. 
And another thing, it feeds into their ego. Like, don't don't let them think they're a good white yeah, man. Yeah, you know, a firefighter who saved five kids and 57 cats and three old ladies, that guy's just a shitty-ass white person. You know, this girl's retarded. This is ask, how can they support black and indigenous people of color? And sometimes I really don't know what to say, but here's one easy way. Just don't have babies. Men can single-handedly cause the white genocide that they are so afraid of. With 2.25 billion... That's crazy that you can even... It's got 84,000 likes. Do you know what I mean? That is crazy. Because there's... I couldn't say that word now, not even regarding anything without it get flagging my video and do you know what I mean either getting taken down or whatever it's crazy that they can just say that women and half a billion white men baby it'll only take two generations in two generations there will no longer be any blonde hair what holy shit is she serious she is dead ass this girl needs clinical help this girl is mentally ill and psychotic if you support the genocide of any type of person any group of people you're insane it's just that simple and obviously this is self-explanatory just by the title of this video but I, one common thing i've noticed with these people is they just they narrow people down to their race and they just run with it they act like they're super smart when in reality they're dumber than a bag of hammers some things i noticed about white american culture being grounded is a punishment to them that's what they call punishment. Mm. Yes, queen. The least grounded, least balanced, most destructive race considers being grounded a punishment. Yeah. Well, let's just say a fact about black American culture. Black Americans are, what are they? 14% of the population and responsible for 50% of the murders in America. Think of that, 14% of the population, 50% of the murders. I see a black person say that. That's where I got that fact from, was from a black person. And this black person was like, that's disgusting that we are there and no one talks about it. The 14% of a race is responsible for 50% of murders. And this black mate, he was like, could you imagine if it was 14% of the population made up 50% of doctors in America. Then you'd never hit stop hearing that statistic. We're 50% of doctors. Black people are 50% of, of the doctors in the country. Body, body, bra. But when it's something negative, yeah. We have the same problem in here, though, with knife crime. Like, the streets. And do you know what the worst thing about it is? I'm sorry to go on a rant here, yeah. <clears throat> but we have a serious problem with knife crime. I'm talking like it's pretty much back to medieval England where people are sword fighting in the streets. With I see this video the other day, right? And it was a group of boys. They was about to, they'd obviously like rival gangs or whatever, bumped up. Now, bumped into each other. One of them pulled out a knife, uh, a, a machete. I'm not joking. This machete was bigger than him. This thing was huge, shiny. Brand new case, shiny blade, brand new machete, right? Now, you give that to anybody that actually wants to kill someone. If you put that in the hand of anybody that actually wanted to kill someone, the person would be dead. You cut their head off with that thing. You cut their arm off with that thing. Yeah, there was no... No one even got cut with that. Now, the reason is, right, we have... We've had it for ages with Sadiq Khan, where because the large percentage of knife crime is black, they don't want to do it. They don't want to get involved because they don't want to, like, but it's not a good thing. These kids is scared. That's why I saw that video. <clears throat> People were saying, it, oh, it's disgusting. Them it, murder it. Like, that ain't a murderer. Do you know what I mean? Like, Give me a bit of wood and someone I actually want to hurt. And I'd have done a hell of a lot more damage than he did with that machete. And I'm not joking, that machete was huge. They carry these weapons because they're scared. Because the, 
everybody else is carrying them. And they'll pull out a knife, stab someone, and then that's it. 15 years of your life. And then guess who's making money the whole time you're in them prisons? It's disgraceful. It's not disgraceful that it's happening. It's disgraceful of the country's complete lack of help for them people. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's YouTube channels that literally just document stabbings between gangs, like, from our country. And it's every day. Every day someone's getting stabbed, like, multiple people getting stabbed. But no one, like, really wants to talk about the, like, no one wants to go in and enforce anything because they're all scared they're going to get called racist. And then, but then you're not actually helping the, do you know what I mean? These kids, like, the majority of these kids aren't murderers. Like, they're not, they're just scared. And at the end of the day, if someone's going to pour a knife on me, I'd rather have one than stand there, do you know what I mean? With just my bare hands while they pull out something. But watching that video the other day with the kid with the machete, he didn't want to do damage. He could have wiped out that whole area if he wanted to, but he didn't. Like, because he, yeah, it was more of a I'm, I'm scared thing. Sorry, sorry for that rant, but it's true. They also say really violent phrases. Like, they say things like, kill two birds with one stone. Why do we have to kill the birds? Why is everything so violent? It's almost like one's language and phrases reflects. This is what makes me die. It's like, have you heard the music that's in the charts? Why does everything have to be so violent? Are you for real, girl? Right. Look at drill. Now, there might be white drillers. But it come from Chicago, it come from black areas, and it went all around, like, the whole, the reason why everybody's having postcode wards is because of Chicago. That's a ridiculous thing to say. You can say and kill two birds with, when, if you looked at the top 50 songs, I can guarantee you most of them is about drugs, drug dealing, Guns, do you know what I mean? That's that's what sells. It's nature. Mm. That was a whole bunch of nothing, bro. My brain already fell out by the last TikTok, so, you know, I'm just kind of watching this video while I'm drooling. She decided to take a common phrase or metaphor and take it serious. Why should we kill the birds? And she thought that breaking that down would be profound. Mm. Holy shit. I think uh, my best suggestion for this lady is to take a few brain exercises, maybe play a little bit of Scrabble. To be fair, though, she's kind of a good looking girl. And that happens with good looking girls anyway, that they think that their points are more like they have this. But it's only because that if they're sitting across the table from a man, he's going to nod and say, yeah, you're right, because he's trying to get in your pants, basically. So most of these girls, that, and she's quite a good looking girl, do you know what I mean? You know that... God, like what what like no one no man is gonna go shut the what are you talking about it didn't even make sense because then she'll go oh well and then that's it no pussy for you so they just nod and go yeah and then that just makes them think that they're actually making points uh i don't know something to help your brain out because that shit's clearly not working so that new uh jeffrey Dahmer movie on netflix is the perfect example of the sensationalization of white violence. <sighs> Bro, it doesn't end. When will the suffering end? Kill me. People have a much easier time sympathizing with white criminals than they do with black victims. And people think these shows are harmless, but they actually contribute to a much bigger issue. It contributes to the viewpoint that white people are less violent than everyone else, and white violence is something to be consumed in media, and that's it with caucasian people in like their inability actually statistically it's chinese people 
Chinese people are less likely to be violent statistically. Doesn't obviously all the time, but the same as they're less likely to be stopped by police because they just don't think of them in that way. So actually, it, Chinese. Yeah. That's what I think is crazy in our country is that you've had the Chinese, Indians and Pakistanis over like literally your average shop that you go in will have an Indian or Pakistani in there. Like but no one no one really comes to their no one's ever like came kind of gave them a helping hand in the country. Do you know what I mean? They just come over here, got on with it. And now they literally, I'm not joking, right? A couple of young Indian, they must be brothers. They look exactly the same. But they got a shitty shop round here, right? There's been a piece of shit shop the whole time. Right? These two young Indian brothers or Pakistani brothers, I don't know what they are. But they got their hands on that shop. You want to see that shop now? You never seen a shop like that. Like it's literally a supermarket. It's huge. It's like walking around it with a Yeah. Shopping trolley. You're like, what? This is just like a little pop in, get a bottle of milk shop. But like the beer bit, you got you press a button and the door opens and you walk into a big f fridge. It's sick. Sick to like read a fucking room like y'all act like you don't understand shit because y'all be the first ones during a conversation about the holocaust to get so mad when black people be like you do realize that the original jewish people were black right white people do not need to explain to anybody about us all bleeding red because baby you all are the people that need to learn that lesson and you know what lesson you need to learn honey to not take a one instance or one conversation that you had with one white person and project it onto all white people. If you're so in tune with reading the room and reading situations, you're the analyzer, then maybe you should realize that generalizing in this situation is pretty stupid. Clearly, history shows that you all are the people that like to pillage and eradicate. Congratulations, genius. You not only, one, generalized people and narrowed them down to the color of their skin, and two, you're focused on events in history that we have nothing to fucking do with, bro. We are way moved past that. Also, white people weren't the only ones that pillaged and conquered. We were just the best at it. It's facts. Bringing up the fucking Stone Age. Enslave and oppress. Attempt to suppress a greatness because you all simply don't have it. Right? That's the thing that annoys me the most. Is that. Why do you think you're that special? Like. But that doesn't just go to black people. That goes for anybody with that mentality of thinking they're being kept down by a government or kept down by... But it's like, do you know what I mean? Black people are the loudest shouters of it. But it's like, do you think you're so special that people are quaking in their boots needing you to... It don't work like that. No one's thinking about you. Everyone's just doing their thing. Right? No one's thinking about you at all. Just get on with it. And then everyone has, do you know what I mean, hurdles they come up with crossing life or whatever. But, um, yeah, the whole thing that I'm so good and I'm so powerful and, like, well, then why don't you run the world? Like, why don't you? Why weren't you the victorious race? Why not? If you're so smart, so much smarter than white white people, so much stronger, so much everything, then why did you lose?
Y'all come goblins who don't even live in the fucking city. Which, by the way, the Q-tip people are the last ones to ever talk about somebody stealing anything. Y'all wouldn't be in this country had it not been for y'all stealing it. No, but you. are focused on people looting and trying to get necessities and things that they need. And yes, a TV is a fucking necessity. A TV is a necessity? <laughs> uh, you need Cartoon Network? <laughs> you need ESPN? And that right there. That right there shows you how deluded these people are. Yes, a TV is a necessity. No, it ain't. Do you know, I actually had an argument with a girl, a black girl. Get this, right? She says, you can't be racist to white people because there's more white people in the country, in the country than other races. I was like, right, so what about in Africa then? I was like, so are you telling me that the little starving African that's so skinny you could snap his arm between your fingers and you can see his ribs and he's got, do you know what I mean, dry all around there and there's flies all buzzing around his head and he's literally on death's door at the age of seven. You're telling me that that African child has more power then you, in this country, because there's more people of the same skin color as him in that country. And she actually went, yeah. And, like, and the other thing is, is she was a big fatty as well. That's the other thing. It's like, at that point, you're just like, all right, that's the end of the conversation. You are a moron. Need it? Can't survive without it? What the fuck? You feel like you're better than because people are out here stealing and oh, you would never. First of all, if you are a mayo monster. Holy shit. Damn. Bro, they're just bringing out the fucking nicknames for white people now. God damn, they're just outwardly racist. They ain't hiding shit. They hate white people, bro. What'd I do? That is how your ancestors got everything from stealing. Oh, yeah? What about Irish people? What about Middle Eastern people? What about Europeans? Like, these people are so stupid. And that's a behavior that's very common among white women. Yeah, let me just hit you with the Asian woman. You see how none of this is good? You see how narrowing people down to the race is kind of stupid and immature and hateful? This bitch is dumber than a box of rocks. Says high protein like cicadas and cheese. Make sure you f And nothing says caucasity like that right there. What caucasity looks like? Roaming Asian grocery stores like it's an amusement park. Bro, these people just want to get food. I don't know where you got the amusement park reference from. Ah, God. At the end of the day, I think most of you guys already knew this before you clicked on this video. Don't judge people by their race. Judge them for who they are and what values they hold and what their character shows. Like, it's that simple. This is just stuff we already know deep down. This is how we worked as kids. But then the fucking media got in our heads and shit, and now they ha want us to care about race. But we don't, and we won't. Doesn't matter if you saw an instance in real life even, and he had a specific race, and now you're looking at that race differently because you looked at that one guy doing that crazy thing. It's just such a cop-out to be racist, and it's just stupid. But that's the thing these people get. It's the same as people that transition. They'll get hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And then to a young, impressionable kid that wants hundreds of thousands of subscribers, they'll transition so that they can get it too. And it's like, do you know what I mean? It weren't like, like this sort of stuff gets promoted and they get rewarded for saying this sort of stuff, right? But like he said earlier on in the video, if it was the other way around, then your video would get taken straight down. In fact, not even the other way around. If it was a black person talking shit about black people, they'd take his video down. It's like, if you want to know who's actually privileged in a society, then look to the people you can't make fun of. Especially in this country. I saw an American, right? That had come over to this country and they did a video that was like uh, top five things you need to know if you're going to move to England or, you, or the UK. It works all across the UK, really. But one of the things this American said was 
if an English person isn't making fun of you, chances are they don't like you. If they're being nice to you, that's because they don't like you and they don't trust you and they don't want it. Like, And that's so true. It's so true with our... Um, and I remember, actually, like years ago, a Romanian, uh, I think it was Romanian, ambassador, ambassador said if, if Romanian people were going to go to England, then they have to, like, drop their kind of... that kind of defensiveness because it is part of English culture to take the piss out of people. That is what you do to your friends over here. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's just, yeah. And also with Romanians and them type of Europeans, if you say something that you would say to an English person, but to them it would be highly offensive to the point they'd fight over it, you see them kind of... You see the reaction of, but then they remember they're talking to an English person and that they'll go, oh, you jog, or something like that. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, yeah, I have that a lot. And it's because they've been here long enough to realize that, do you know what I mean? English people. It's the same as I had this foreign girl. I've seen a lot of foreign girls, to be fair. Um, a lot of black girls too, but yeah. I've had quite a few foreign girls say, why do English people always ask if you're all right? Or how you, like, yeah. So why do you always say you're all right? Like, like I'm going to open up and tell you, like, and I was like, no, nah, see, that's not what an English person, in England, saying are you all right, the answer that you've got to say back to me is yes. I don't want to hear you say no. It's basically like saying hello, hello. You're right. Yeah, you. Yeah. In England, if you walk past your mate or you walk past someone you know and you go, you're right, and they go, no. You go, oh, for fuck's sake, here we go. Now I've got to stand here and talk to you. You know how this goes. You say, I say you're all right. You say yes. You all right? Yes. And then we go, right? And she was like, oh, so it's basic. She's like, you're not actually asking like, how are you in your, like, do you know what I mean? I was like, no, it's not that. Like, it is just a hello. It's a greeting, basically. Like, it is like, hello. But then I've, I have to say that what is worrying me more than the left, like, all of this kind of anti-white um, shit, is is how powerful it's making the right. Now, I don't have a problem with right wing people, but we know we know that you can't lean too far either way. You can't lean too far to the right because you become Nazi, and you can't lean too far to the left because you become communist Russia or communist China, where millions of people died under them regimes. Right. Like, you have to be in the middle. Like you can't lean either way. Um but yeah. Yeah. Funny times we live in. It's like we're being conquered at the minute by Europeans coming here. And you think this is the country that has withstood everything. Nazis, Vikings, the French, everything. But yet we can't stop, what, 10,000 people a week turning up. In our country, all of a sudden. That's why, I, like, part of me thinks this is this is my true worry with all of this stuff. It never made sense to me how this kind of leftist woke ideology burned through our country the whole time we had a right wing government in. Didn't make sense to me. How is that possible? 
that this far left extremism in our country went so far under a right wing government. Now, I think, and I thought this like years ago, that the right is letting this happen because all these people are doing are recruiting for the right. And like I say, the, the, that seesaw can't tip too far either way. Eat too far either way is bad. And yeah, I see this country going like, like people like Oswald Mosley. Um, what's the other one we had? Oswald Mosley. Um, what's the fella's name? But these sorts of people would have never been respected in our country. Like, back in the day. Never. When the BNP started, the British National Party, it got a lot of following at first because people thought it was a party for the working class. And then they started going, oh, yeah, by the way, we're fascist and we like Hitler and that. And the whole country kind of went, <laughs> fuck off. But what scares me is that I see people, English people, all of a sudden sharing Oswald Mosley quotes and sharing, um, what was his name? I can't think of the other one's name, but it's like, this that's not what our country is. Right. But it's it's become that because of this far left. People are sick of this far left. And like I say, instead of the left people that don't agree with the left, the far left, Right, instead of staying left and calling out the far left and making the left more reasonable again, they're just people are just converting to the right. And yeah, I think that's it's it's worrying. Because if England and America that's when the West will fall. The West will fall when England and America go at each other's throat. As long as them two countries stay together, I think the West will stand. But if them two countries become right-wing and fascist, who stops that? Who controls that when the force that for years has been the two countries that have controlled things like that are now that? Who stops us then? It's like I've seen them talking about bringing conscription, uh, conscription, is it? Conscription, yeah. Into our country. And, do you know what I mean? You see those people saying, I swear to God, if this country gives me a gun, you've got more chance of me shooting them than you have, like, anybody from a foreign country. You've got more chance of me turning that gun on the government than you have me... Attacking a country under different countries, but they've started this beef now over there, and they want to kind of call us all up. It's like nah, 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 nah. That ain't our war. It ain't our fight. You got involved with it. You go and fight it. But yeah, anyway, enough rambling. That's the reaction. Sweet. <laughs>